What's going on? I'm the College Jew. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 4. Okay, so now that we have uh, everyone in our team here, we can go to a few places. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to show that in this episode. The first place is Stansha. Uh, start at Sand Team and just go straight up. Uh, if you can see the uh, stuff that I'm drawing on the map here. That's how you get the Stansha. Uh, there's another place called the Seaside Village, which is a little bit south of Santine. Uh, there's a couple things you can get there. Uh, and then if you just go a little bit south and then over to the uh, uh, over to the right, uh, you can go to a uh, hidden little island where you can get a small boat. So that's the first set of places that you can uh, that you can go to basically after you have the ship. The second set of places is uh, around the uh, Mentos area. The first place is a town called Burgerton where you can get some really good upgrades for your players. Uh, just go around that uh, cape right there. And Riverton is one of these rivers, I'm not quite sure. I think it's that one. But I'm not too sure about that. It could be the other one. Yeah, uh, the enemies around this area are really, really powerful. So do not try to fight them if you're at a low level. You'll just get your ass stomped. And then if you want to get to Berlin from chapter one, you just go from Riverton, you go around that around the cape right there, and just go straight down. You will oh, what's gonna happen is you're gonna circle the world. And then oh, there's Ismit. And that this should look very familiar to you from chapter one. Then get to Berlin via Ismit, and then you're good. Once you have the magma staff, you can get to the uh, kingdom of uh, Garden Bird just from Ismit, go uh, all the way to the right there until you get to this little uh, platform right here. Park your ship there. Travel along those mountains. Keep walking. Go down a little bit. And use the magma staff right there. And then you'll be at Garden Bird. The third set of places, or that rather, the third place in general, is the uh, metal, uh, the metal king uh, shrine and the uh, shrine of breaking ways. Um, from Sorta, you want to go down. You'll cross the globe, and you will come to the metal king shrine. Yeah, if I'm just drawing it correctly. There we go. There's the Metal King Shrine right there. You can cash in your medals right there. And you can find the Zenithian Armor in the Shrine of the Breaking Waves. That's going to be a little bit later on in the game. Probably after about level 25. I think there's some more stuff that I show around here. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, that's right, Roseville. Uh, from Conember, where you got your ship, you go around the coast there to the right. Keep following along the, uh, the seabed right there, past that, past the uh, Great Lighthouse. Travel, travel along the river. Sorry if the quality is bad. I mean, the quality looks really bad just by looking at a, just by checking it out in a Windows Movie Maker. So, and Roosevelt's right there. Okay. So that's a, a pretty much a, that's a good synopsis of the places you can go when you get when you have the ship. Uh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, I just looked. The uh, River Ton is right there. That little riverbed right there. That's where the that's where the town's located. All right then. Peace.